Hello everyone, here is another video with OrcTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can find configuration for Chiral Center. I'm going to explain how to identify configuration of Chiral Center by these examples. We use CAN in GAL PRELAG to identification of Chiral Center. This rule has three steps. The first step, we need to rank the groups attached to the chiral centers. So we have PR, CH3, OH, and H. We need to rank them. And our priority is based on mass or atomic number. Here you can see a list of some common elements for organic chemistry. And we're going to use it to find the configuration for these chiral centers. The first atom, the highest one here is boromine, as you can see it here. So we put number one for boromine. So the highest priority has number one. After that, between oxygen and carbon, oxygen has higher priority comparing to the carbon. So number two is belong to the OH. Please keep in mind that for ranking these four groups, we always taking a look to the first atom. So if their first atom are different, then we make decision based on the first atom. We don't look at the rest of the atoms in our groups. Then between carbon and hydrogen, carbon has higher priority. So it's number three. And number four or lowest priority is hydrogen atom. For a step two, we need to arrange the molecule in three dimensions. So number four is staying in the back of molecule. In this example, number four is dash, and dash it means it is in the back. So we don't need to take any action for this example. And step three, it says move from number one to two to three. If it is clockwise, we call it R. And if it is counterclockwise, like this example, the configuration of chiral center is S. Let's have a series of examples to see how we can identify configuration in more complex molecules. Here is a second example between boromine, fluorine, oxygen, and carbon. Boromine has highest priority, so it's number one. Then fluorine is number two. Then oxygen is number three. And carbon is number four. Again, number four, it is in the back of molecule and we don't need to do anything. Then we move to the step three, from one to two to three. This rotation, it is clockwise. So in this example, configuration is R. Here is the next example. We have chlorine, hydrogen, carbon, and carbon. For sure, chlorine is number one. And hydrogen is number four. But right now, we have two carbon atoms for these two groups. And we need to see which one has higher priority. When the first atom are the same, then we take a look to the second atom. And we keep going until to see the difference between two groups. Here in CH3, after carbon, we have hydrogen. But here after carbon, we have carbon and hydrogen so it is ch ch ch3 so the first carbon attached to another carbon so between these two the second one has higher priority so we put number two here and number three then from number one to two two three the rotation is counterclockwise and configuration of this molecule is s here is the next example. We have iodo group, hydrogen, carbon, and carbon. Hydrogen for sure is number four, and iodo is number one. Right now, we have two carbon. And normally, when we want to take a look to the rest of the atom in the group, we ignore hydrogen because hydrogen has the lowest priority in this series. So we have carbon. This carbon attached to oxygen. And here we have carbon, this carbon attached to oxygen. So they have same element and we need to have a way to distinguish between these two groups. 
Here is the rule for ranking of the groups. This CHO group, it is an aldehyde functional group. So it's in this way. And here, CH2, OH, it has a single bond with oxygen. When we have double bond, we assume that carbon attached to two of oxygen. So by using this rule, CHO aldehyde group is number two because the carbon attached to two oxygen and here carbon attached to only one oxygen. So two oxygen has priority and this one will be number three. So from one to two, two three, we have counterclockwise and it is S. So this example was the simplest possibility for finding configuration because number four was always in the back. Let's see what we should do if number four is in the front or is in the plane of molecule. Let's take a look to this example between bromine, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Bromine is number one, oxygen is number two, and carbon is number three and hydrogen is number four. For second step, we need to arrange the molecule to put hydrogen in the back. There is a very simple way to identify configuration of molecule when number four is in front instead of in the back of molecule. So number one to two to three, it is counterclockwise. Because it's counterclockwise, I should write configuration is S. But instead, I write R. Because number four, it is in the opposite direction. Then I write the opposite configuration as well. So instead of saying S, I say R. Let's have more examples. Here is the next example. Again, boromine is number one. Between sulfur and carbon, Sulfur has higher priority, it's number two, carbon is number three, and hydrogen is number four. Again, from one to two to three, it is clockwise, so I should say R, but because hydrogen is in the front of molecule, then I say configuration is S. Please keep in mind, we can only use this method if number four is in the front. If number four is here or here, then we cannot use this way. And we need to actually do something on the molecule. I'm going to explain it a few minutes later in this video. We can also easily use this method for finding configuration in Fisher form as well. As we know that based on the definition of Fisher projection form, these two bonds on the left and right, they are always in the front of molecule. And this bond, the vertical bonds, they are always in the back. So we either have number four front or back, so we can easily find the configuration. In this example, fluorine is number one, oxygen is number two, and carbon number three. And number four, it is on its right place, is in the back of molecule. So from one to two to three, it is clockwise. And because four is in the right place, configuration is R. Here is next example. Boromine is number one, chlorine is number two, and we have carbon here. This carbon has oxygen and the other carbon doesn't have that. So this is number three and methyl is number four. And number four, it is in the front. So whatever we find, we need to reverse it. Then from one to two to three, our rotation is counterclockwise. But instead of saying S, we say configuration is R. Because number four, right now it is in the front of molecule, not in the back. Here is the next example. We would like to identify the configuration for this chiral center. This chiral center has only three bonds 
and we know carbon always should have four bonds. So the fourth bond is CH that we normally don't show it in a skeletal structure. And because OH it is in the front of molecule, so CH should be in the back. Then oxygen has highest priority and for sure hydrogen is number four. Then we have two carbon on the left and right. These two carbon, they are the same. Then we need to move to the next atom to see their difference. The next atoms also are carbon, but the carbon on the right side has a double bond with oxygen. The carbon on the left side doesn't have. So the carbon on the right side, it has higher priority and is number two. And the left one is number three. So from one to two to three, we have clockwise rotation. Then configuration for this molecule is R. Here is the next example. Again, we know that fluorine is number one. And here we have carbon and carbon. And hydrogen is number four. Between these two carbon, this group, after carbon, we have sulfur, which is, has higher priority. So this is number two. And this carboxylic acid is number three. Please keep in mind that when we have different atoms, we don't care if we have one oxygen or two oxygen or more. We only take a look to the type of atom. This carbon has oxygen and this carbon has sulfur. So sulfur has higher priority. So the next step is finding configuration. But in this way, we are not able to find configuration because number four, it is not in the back. Also, it is not in the front. So we need to adjust the molecule. There are two different tricks to find the configuration for this type of molecule. I'm going to explain both of them. Take a look to these two molecules. They are completely same and they matching on each other. So they're not an antiomer. They're identical. But if I swap two groups, I'm swapping green and red. Let's see what happened. After swapping these two groups, the molecules are not matching anymore. They're not identical. Actually, they are mirror images, as you can see it here right now. So by switching two group, we convert the molecule to its enantiomer because we know that configuration for enantiomer are opposites. So let's see how we can use this for answering the question. So in this molecule, I can do the same thing. I can choose fluorine and hydrogen and swap these two group because I want to take hydrogen to the back of molecule. And then we redraw the structure in this form. Then we get this structure. Right now, number four, it is in the back, and we can easily find configuration. So fluorine is number one, number two, and carboxylic acid is number three. So from one to two to three, it is counterclockwise. So configuration for this molecule is S. But our final answer is not S because by swapping these two groups, we convert compound A to its mirror image or its enantiomer. And enantiomer, they have opposite configuration. So because the answer for a structure B is S, then the answer for our original molecule is R. So configuration is R. Let's have more examples. Here is another example. First, we need to find the priority for each atom. Chlorine is number one. Then oxygen is number two. Then we have carbon and carbon. This carbon is C triple bond N and is attached to the nitrogen. The other carbon is attached to hydrogen. So number three is CN or cyanide group and number four is methyl. Again, we have the same problem because number four, it is not in the front and it is not in the back of molecule. Then again, we can use the same trick and swapping number four with the group in the back of molecule. So in this case, I should swap OH and CH3. So by switching these two groups, we get this structure, then now number four, 
It is in the back and we can find configuration easily. Chlorine is number one, OH is number two, and cyanide group is number three. Then from one to two to three, it is clockwise, so it is R. But because this structure is R, this structure should be S. So configuration for this molecule is S. Then let's see what is the second trick to answer this type of question. For second trick, we only need to uh, change the molecule and find another conformer. So we always hold one group. I'm holding the green atoms right now, and we can rotate the other three group simultaneously around the carbon green bond here. And conformer, they're identical, and their configuration doesn't change. So let's see how we can use this trick for answering the question. I would like to explain the second trick for the same molecule as well here. Here chlorine is number one, cyanide is number three, and OH is number two. And we need to move number four to the back of molecule. So if I hold this group, this chlorine, and rotate the molecule around this bond, these three groups, cyanide, hydroxy, and methyl, they simultaneously change their position. So we can bring CH3 instead of OH, then we put OH instead of CN, and we put CN instead of CH3, exactly like the way we the other Newman projection. Then the result is this structure. Right now, number four, methyl group, it is in the back. Chlorine is number one. OH is number two. And cyanide is number three. So from one to two to three. Rotation is counterclockwise and configuration is S. Because we only rotate the bond, so we have two different conformers. So configuration of second structure and first structure are the same. So here our configuration is S as well. So if we swap or switch two group, configuration of molecule change, but when we rotate the bonds, the configuration remain unchanged. And it's really up to you to rotate which three atoms. I chose to hold chlorine and rotate this three group. We can also do the other things. For example, you can hold cyanide and rotate this three group, oxygen, chlorine, and CH3. And the result will be the same. As you see in this structure, chlorine is number one, OH is number two, and cyanide is number three. Then from one to two to three, we have counterclockwise and configuration again is S. So it really doesn't matter which bond we hold and which tree we rotate. We only need to make sure we put number four in the back of molecule. Using the first or second trick, it really doesn't matter. Both of them, it gives you the same answer. It's really up to you which one is easier for you to use it. Let's find out configuration for this chiral center as you can see here the br is in the front and this carbon the chiral carbon it has only three bond because br is in the front so we should have a hydrogen in the back of molecule so bromine is number one and for these two group we have same thing ch2 when we move to the next atom again we have carbon so they are the same but on the left side, we don't have carbon anymore. On the right side, we have more carbon. So the right side is number two. The left side is number three. And hydrogen is number four. And it is in the back. So we don't need to do any trick for this molecule. Then from one to two to three, we have counterclockwise. And this molecule is S. We also use configuration in naming of molecule. If we numbering this chain from left side, the name of molecule, it's 3-bromo. 
heptane. But this triboromoheptane has S configuration. So before the name of molecule in parentheses, we can write its configuration as well. And if we want to find the configuration for this molecule, we actually don't need to find the configuration because we know by swapping two group configuration are changing. So because boromine is in the back, in the front, we should have hydrogen. So these two group, boromine and hydrogen, they're switching their position in the first and second molecule. So it's the first trick because the first structure is S by switching these two group, the second structure configuration is R. And we really don't need to derive. But if we want to do that, boromine is number one, this group is number two, and this group is number three, as we discussed for the first structure. From one to two to three is counterclockwise, so we should say S. But because hydrogen is in the front, instead of S, we write R. And the name of the second molecule is exactly like the first one, but instead of S, in parentheses, we should write R. So R, Tiriboromo, Heptane. So we use configuration to distinguish between enantiomer or other stereoisomer in IUPAC nomenclature as well. Thank you for watching this video. For watching more video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.